So, building a million dollar online course business is no simple feat for anyone off the street. But lucky for you today, I'm gonna break it down into eight simple and practical steps for you to do it yourself. But while we do that, I'm also gonna give you a tour of my Bali Villa. Let go. My name is Cameron Foos. Welcome to Iconic, the channel for digital entrepreneurs. Hit that subscribe and notification button for new content every week on how to grow your brand on social media while having the freedom to travel the world 24 seven with marketing automation. Be bold, be authentic, be Iconic. So there's four main problems that I always suffered from and that we need to solve to actually build a million dollar brand. Now, the first one is the limiting belief that, you know, thinking, why would anybody pay me? Why am I a so-called expert? Number two is content, right? How do we actually get attention and create leads and speak to the audience that we're trying to get in so we can get qualified leads? And once we actually get those leads, how do we actually convert them into customers, right? That is a very complicated process that so many of us struggle. And number three, and most importantly is, how do we build a course that actually creates success stories? One of the best and most important metrics of your business should be your customer success stories. So you can repurpose that back into your content to actually be creating successful stories. Now, by the end of this video, you're gonna have eight practical steps to solve all of those problems. Now, I have been in the online course industry making 50 to $150,000 per month selling online courses for the last decade. So let's get into those eight steps and solve all your problems. For those of you who don't know me, I've been traveling the world for the last three years straight, you know, running a business on how to sell online courses. And this is our villa in Bali that we've been living at for the last five months. But this is my videographer's room where he sleeps. This is weird being on your bed, Norbert. But uh, <laughs> uh, step one, of you know solving all those problems is mindset and in this step we really have to reverse engineer what makes us happy and how do we do that we have to pick the niche that we're in backed by purpose we can't look at the niche that we're in thinking about okay what one has the highest profit margins what one is going to make me the most money while those are important things the problem is if you approach it with your why is money once the money starts coming in and it becomes emotionless if there's no purpose backed by this niche that you're in, you're gonna get burnt out. You're gonna have this feeling of emptiness because you're not actually passionate about what you're doing. And what happens when you're not passionate about what you're doing? You get burnt out. You can't stay consistent in this production of what you're trying to do for this business. And this is a long-term game. We're trying to become one of the top five icons in the niche and the business that we're building. And in order to do that, we have to have passion for what we are talking about and what we are actually teaching people. So reverse engineer thought process and ask yourself, are you truly passionate about what you're doing? Because at the end of the day, money doesn't buy happiness. Passion is what's gonna lead us to the top five icons in this industry and niche that we are choosing. Step number two, branding and having clarity in your messaging. Now, obviously, when we think of branding, we kind of think of like logos and colors, such as you're seeing me wearing all iconic merch right now. There's a link below if you wanna pick up some of this stuff. Now, while that stuff is important to have that visual appeal, what's even more important is having clarity on your messaging and knowing exactly who your target audience is. Now, there's something called the everyone problem. Now, a lot of people think like, oh, I got this product or service, like this is good for everybody. Everybody wants to buy this, right? But when you go too broad in your messaging, you end up getting either no leads or the leads that you get aren't quality leads and they don't convert into actual customers. So how do you fix this situation? You have to pick your audience and then start polarizing it, which is basically creating a black and white situation, cutting it in half. So for an example, to give you an analogy, say if your target audience was college students, how do you polarize and make college students black and white, right? You go, okay, there's either college students who know why they're there and have a path that they already know that they wanna go down. And then there's college students that have no idea why they're there and they have no purpose. They're like, I have no idea what my career path is. Boom, so now we just cut that audience in half by targeting and putting our messaging towards college students who know that they don't have a plan so that we can create messages geared towards that. How can we even break that down even farther? Say if you're only serving towards men, now you can cut it down to people who don't know why they're in college and now we can cut that even in half again by only serving towards men. So that's how you polarize your audience. And then 
you come really crystal clear in your branding and in your messaging, creating messages geared towards solving that exact audience's problem. So you have to polarize your audience and more importantly, you have to know exactly what their problems are. So all your messaging and branding is geared towards solving those problems. Is there a massive pool? This thing is three meters deep. I believe this is actually the deepest pool in Bali, but I'm not sure. If you know of a pool deeper than three meters deep in Bali, comment below, I'd love to hear about it because maybe I'll go check it out. Step three of the process is none other than creating the ultimate course. Now, obviously, when you're building an online course business, maybe the most important aspect of your course is you know building an amazing course because one, the most important metric that you can be measuring for the success of your business is your students' success. So how do you do that? How do you create a course that actually creates successful students? You have to really dive deep into the thought process of how did you become successful? You have to reverse engineer how you became successful and what is the step-by-step -step A to Z process? What do they have to do first? What, have to, what do they have to learn first before they can learn the next step of the process on how to become an expert in this field that you're teaching. And again, the number one metric of your business should be your student success, because what do we wanna do with that success? We wanna tell those stories and repurpose that back into the content that we create for our brand. P.S. This is my room. This thing is called a joglo, which is like a ancient Balinese structure. Obviously they remodeled it and put all this glass in it. The problem is, is that I smashed the hell and shattered this completely big glass door. In one of my previous videos, and that caused a lot of stress and a lot of cortisol in me, which brings me to my next step, storytelling. And how do you tell stories to capture your audience? And what does that mean, right? Now there's an actual science behind storytelling. And there's two brain chemicals that are released when you're telling a story. There's cortisol and there's oxytocin. And what do we need to do when we speak to our audience? First, we need to speak to their problems and release cortisol in their bodies. Give them stress, give them tension, like, oh, he's speaking directly to my problems. I need to know what the answer and how to solve this. And we give them the answer to those problems with by releasing the answer and also releasing oxytocin. And once you do that, you can influence the behavior and get them to take action by telling the proper stories and actually structuring it in a way where you're releasing cortisol at the right times, speaking to their problems, and then giving them the solutions and release, releasing oxytocin. Now there's something called the dramatic arc. This isn't any new rocket science. This is created by somebody named Gustav Freytag, but there's different ways you can actually use this in each medium of your YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, emails that I also teach in all of my programs. Psst. So out of those first four steps, which one are you struggling with most right now? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. So this is where we play Uno. Remember this game? Norbert, how old is this deck of cards? 15 years old. <laughs> That's where we play Uno. Anyways, now that we know how to tell stories, what do we use with those stories, okay? And how do we actually convert our customers into a sale? We use an automated webinar. Why, right? For one, I hate phone sales. I don't like having to deal with people all the time, all day long. And number two, that's a huge waste of my time and energy. With an automated webinar, you can be selling your products and services 24 seven, 365 on your customer's schedule not on yours, right? How difficult is it to have a worldwide audience and try to structure a sales call when everybody's got different schedules, different times? With live or automated webinars, you can do this on autopilot and completely automate your entire sales process through webinars. So if you're running any sort of online course, if you're selling anything digitally online, you must be using webinars and that is exactly how you're gonna scale to 50 to 100 to $150,000 per month selling your online course. Why is their pool so deep? I asked myself the same question, and then my landlord was like, guys, we got a rooftop up here. You wanna jump off? That's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. This is how precious life is. Would you look at that? What are the odds? It's a special little plant. So this is part of our rooftop. Sometimes come up here, get a little workout and get a little pump in. The next step in the process is you know, what happens if they don't purchase in the webinar? And that's a very common problem that we all have to face if we're doing 
automated or live webinars. And people, you typically don't just purchase the first time that they hear your pitch or hear about what you're about. So you have to automate a huge customer journey after the webinar. And I'm gonna show you a screenshot of what my actual funnel looks like. And just imagine how much time, resources, and effort that would take to have yourself do it personally, or do you have to hire someone else to do that? And the best thing about it is you can automate that entire process of your sales funnel and automate your entire site. If you're not automating and not automating all your email marketing, all your post follow-up sales funnels, all your value delivery, right? A lot of people talk shit about automation, but all automation is is an efficient way of delivering value to your customers so that they can better make the decision process. So if you're not automating, you're failing. The final two steps, guys, Instagram and YouTube. And in order to do that, we're gonna come into my studio. Talk about it. Silver play button, Cameron Foose, and he's YouTube certified. That's interesting. Which brings me to step seven. As you can see, we're in my YouTube studio. And YouTube is maybe your number one thing you should be focusing on, right? Because we can do all these other things that we talked about, but if we don't have attention and nobody knows who we are, none of it matters. And guess what? YouTube is the number two search engine in the world. Literally, the saying goes, if you build it, they will come. And the best place to build it is on YouTube. Why? Because people are searching exactly what you're looking for, right? Any other platform, like Google SEO is very difficult. Instagram is very difficult to get attention. But on YouTube, there are different strategies that you can use by understanding what your audience is looking for and then creating content based exactly on what they're looking for. So literally, if you build it in the proper way, there's definitely a certain way to structure this and that's what I know how to do, why I have a silver play button, why I'm YouTube certified, is how to structure your YouTube content to also engage them. That's why we need to understand storytelling, okay? This all comes back full circle. But the number one platform you should be focusing on on social, if you're trying to promote yourself or sell any sort of product, YouTube is the place to be. Cameron. Oh, sorry, I was scrolling on Instagram, which brings me to step eight, Instagram, okay? A lot of us get confused thinking, Instagram is where all the attention is. And a lot of times it is, okay? Like I don't just pick up my phone 50 times a day to scroll up my YouTube feed, right? But I do do that on my Instagram. The problem with Instagram is it's much more difficult to grow on. It's not a search engine. We can do hashtags to try to get discovery, but that's not, it doesn't work the same way as YouTube. If you build it, chirps crickets, nobody comes, right? So you have to be focusing on Instagram in a different way. And you don't wanna just use Instagram to try to promote your YouTube, right? So you have to be creating one native content on your Instagram, focus at your target audience. But the reality of it is, unless we have great abs, a great ass, big tits, or anything like that, the likelihood of us blowing up on Instagram is pretty low. So. How do we focus on growing on Instagram? Well, what do we do? We go back to step seven and focus on blowing up our YouTube. I recently did a poll on my Instagram of over 80,000 followers saying, hey, where'd you guys all find me from? And guess where they all came from? They all came from YouTube. So again, all we're trying to do, the reality, to, reality of it is, is YouTube is the number two search engine in the world. If we're providing any sort of service or product in a niche, the number one place to do it and do all your marketing for free organic content is YouTube and then direct them to your Instagram. And then you can take micro content from your YouTube videos. You create you know, a 10 minute YouTube video, 15 minute YouTube video, such as I'm doing right now. I can then go and create three to five to seven micro 60 second clips out of this YouTube video and repurpose that and make it native for Instagram, right? Because if you're creating a bunch of content on Instagram trying to promote YouTube, that's not what people wanna do. People are on Instagram to consume Instagram content. So you have to be making content native for each platform. But again, growing on Instagram is hard. So your focus should be back on number seven, growing on YouTube. That is the eight step process on how to grow a million dollar online course brand. Now, in case you haven't already guessed, the eight step process I just talked about 
is each week in my eight week program called the Iconic Entrepreneur Course, where I teach you exactly how to grow an online business, become an icon in your industry on YouTube and Instagram, and how to scale to 50 to $150,000 per month selling your products and services to your audience and become an icon in your industry. Now, just imagine having the freedom to travel the world for three years, living 100% on your terms, all while doing the things you love and speaking about what you're actually passionate about. And that's exactly what I've been doing for the last three years. And that's what I want to create for you in my brand new Iconic Entrepreneur eight week program. But you know, what happens if you don't make any changes? What happens if you don't take action, right? If you don't follow these eight steps and you stay stuck in your old habits, right? You're potentially gonna burn out because you're in the wrong industry or you're never gonna grow your Instagram, you're never gonna grow your YouTube, or you, you haven't even been focusing on YouTube and leaving so many free leads off the table, not focusing on the number two search engine in the world and the easiest place to build your following. So with that being said, I have an absolutely free masterclass that's gonna detail my top three secrets on how to blow up your brand on YouTube, Instagram, how to fully automate your business and solve the three main problems, which is what? Leads, conversions, and student course testimonials. If you're interested, if you wanna transform your life, if you wanna transform your business, find purpose, and be able to travel the world like I have for the last three years straight, sign up below. I would love to see you in my free masterclass. In addition, if you like this video, I would love for you to subscribe, like, and I wanna know what you thought about the eight-step process of my program. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Boom! So. Building a million dollar a year course business is not the easiest making an intro for the video. <laughs> so, what's on Instagram?